Today, we're going to fill up the cow barn. What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. How is everybody doing? Thank you, thank you, thank you to the people that told me where the lights were. They were right here. I just was too dumb to see it. <laughs> so we're good. We can see. Let's go ahead and open up the bunker. And, of course, I turned the darn thing off. Let's get rocking. I know this does not like to work very well at the very beginning, but that's okay. It'll work just fine for us. There we go. Tell you what, I do like using this thing, though. It works really, really well. Very well, very well. So how you guys doing today? I hope everybody's having an awesome day so far. A good start to your week. Uh, we are rocking and rolling on Peterville Farm. Today we're going to get some cows, and I don't know what kind of cows we're going to get. They'll all be the same, of course. Uh, we've got black chickens and black uh, pigs, so I'm thinking maybe we either do black cows or we do black and uh, black and white spotted cows. We shall see. I haven't done Brahmin in a while, but the problem with Brahmin is they're not really native to Scotland, so therein lies an issue. <laughs> You guys gave me crap. I think I started using Brahmin on, um, what was it, Mercury Farms? Which is a uh, British map, more or less. Europe, well, not really, but yeah, it's, it's British-based, more or less, but it's fictitious. And you guys were like, uh, DJ, you can't use this. These, these do not exist. I was like, oh, man, come on. So we're not going to do Brahmin. We're not going to worry about that. What we are going to do, oh, there we go. Oh, where is... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is it doing? Oh, it's filling up the bucket over there. Oh, that's hilarious. It was about to say, what is it doing? We've got a bucket. All right, let's turn it off and raise it up. So if you guys caught our setup stream for this map, we have silo extensions where we can put anything in this silo that we want. Uh, the extensions are a little large, but they do work just fine. Oh, it's got a little bit more. Oh, nope. <laughs> let's check out these silo extensions. I want to show them to you. All right, let's go into garage and bump over. Here they are. So these allow us to put a couple extra things in here, like root crops, for example. We could put root crops in here. We can also put manure, lime, seeds, pig food, wood chips. We could also do hay, straw, silage. We could do chaff, uh, forage. I think we could put forage in here, TMR. No, no forage. Forage will not go in here. Just TMR. We'd also do uh, fertilizer and uh, silage. I think I said silage as well. But So we can put all of those things in there. Pretty much anything that you need on a daily basis in Farming Simulator. Crash counter number one. That was, that was definitely a crash. That wasn't even a bump. You can use all of those things in here, which is great. And I highly recommend if you guys are on PC, make sure you get something like that. Now... What if you're on console? My recommendation would be to put down one of Alien Jim's, one of his maps. Uh, definitely say maybe go into New Farm or something like that, uh, wherever you can also get all of the animals as well. Um, go into that mode, get rid of your silo. Actually, can we get rid of the silo? I don't think we can. No, can't get rid of the silo, unfortunately. So best thing to do is to toss over one of Alien Jim's silos over there as well, or maybe somewhere else around the map. If you guys are using the other farm, you definitely throw one of those. Definitely? Definitely throw one of those over there. And uh, and then use the seeds, fertilizer, and lime silo, which we've been using on, well, Meadow Grove and uh, the old farm countryside. We use that on both of those, and I thought it was great. Oh, oh, it's going to fill up. <laughs> it's filling up the bucket. That's great. We're going to have to dump the bucket out right there. I was using that to clean up, but we're going to have to dump that. Oh, wait, we're at 85,000? Or 85%? 85,000, goodness gracious. We're not even done yet. Oh, come on. Oh, I've just gotten myself in a stinker right here, haven't we? I'm interested why it started to fill the bucket up. I'll tell you what, let's get this dumped. Right there, that'll do. We need to move this tractor. 
because this is going to cause us nothing but trouble and heartache once we get down in here. How much does that have? 460 liters of silage. Really? Come on now. Come on now. Let's just dump this back in here. There's no point to have this. Get this right here. Yes, we are using a four truck as our uh, our little farm farmhand truck right or tra truck tractor right now. Tell you what, we are all out of whack. It's early morning. We just woke up. We are rocking and rolling. Let's get this put away here. There you go. All right. So let's get this silage bunker completely emptied. So here's a way I'm having a hard time kind of figuring out how to fit this thing in there. So here's what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to back the trailer in here because I know we can reach that trailer. There's that. Good. Drop it. Now, even though, even though it's not the most realistic, we should be able to spray this through the wall. Yup. Come on, lower down. There you go. Uh, is it going to spray through the wall? Yeah, it is. That's super not right. We could have parked this beside us, couldn't we? If that would have made it a little bit better. This just does not look right at all, does it? This silo is almost empty. We've just got a little bit more over here in the corner. I'll tell you what, this setup right here has done very well. There's a lot of bunkers in the game that do not work very well with this. There we go, bunker silo is empty. Let's go and turn that off, raise it, and we can go ahead and fold the pipe as well. We don't need that open anymore. All right, let's see if we can get ourselves out of here. And again, I gotta take a guess. I should have parked the Ford somewhere else because as we were backing in two times, more went in the bucket because it was right there. So it just shot it through the middle of the air. I felt like a moron. <laughs> so the question here is, do we go ahead and uh, get the cows now or do we wait until the morning to get them? Here's what we've got to do first. I mean, first and foremost, we need equipment for them. As a matter of fact, um, we had at one point good prices for some of the crops that we had. Let's see. We're trying to hold off to sell as much as we can, but we do eventually need to start selling some of these crops, like uh, wheat, for example. We've got a lot of wheat, but the price isn't where I want it to be yet. Now, canola. There's a good price for canola right now. We could probably make a little bit. Actually, we would make about 20 some thousand dollars. So here is the game plan for that. Let's take a look and let's see what we can do. Let's, you know what? Let's just unhook from this. That's just going to cause us problems. Let's grab a hold here. Let's put this in and let's see where we're going to be getting good prices. Well, I say where uh, we're going to be getting the same price everywhere for everything because we have one sell point. Nothing wrong with that. It is what it is. Back in here, let's grab some crop, maybe make a little bit of cash. Heading up to Peterville Factory, somewhere we have not been. I haven't even been on this side of the map yet. Goodness, we got another beach over here, man, that's so cool. Oh, I forgot, we need a lot of power to get a lot of equipment up the hill. I don't know if we get this, yeah, we'll be able to get this up here. The Big problem is going to be later on when this has 42,000 liters, or not 42, how much does this thing hold? 50 some? 40 some? Ah, it's this version, so it must be 40. Wait, did I buy this version? I thought I got the, uh, the Perion. Hold up. Stop. Which tipper did I get? 52,000, okay. For some reason I was thinking we had the... All right, whatever. <laughs> it's just a bigger version of the one that we had. Okay, cool. I didn't realize the sides on this thing tipped like that. That's pretty neat. Can we get this in there? Uh, thank goodness the rear wheels turn or else we may have a bit of a problem. We look like a really big fire truck trying to come through here. You ever seen one of those fire trucks with the wheels on the back that turn? Uh, pretty cool. Sorry, I like fire trucks. Uh, where's our sell point? It's got to be around the corner, doesn't it? Let's check it out. I, this is why I should have done a first look at map tour. Yeah, here it is. Because I don't know where half of the stuff is. That's okay. Let's get this sold. There we go. Let's just make a bit of cash. Oh, yeah, money's going up. That's going to make a difference. That's going to make a big difference. $27,000. That's definitely going to make a difference. Now, can we make this turn? This is pretty tight around here. 
oh, wouldn't it be cool if we could use this, uh, use that as a place to store vehicles and stuff? People would be using the cell point as their own farm. <laughs> Let me know, would you guys do that? I would. Heck yeah, man. All right. Back, uh, back over to the farm we go. Nothing else that we have right now is getting a good price. So I'm not even going to worry about trying to sell anything, buy anything, nothing like that. We are good for right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pack up. We're going to head down to the store and take a couple things down to the store. And we're going to pick up all the equipment that we're going to need to do cows. Now right now, what do we have? $387,000. What I would like is to get about a hundred cows. Problem is, I think if we get a hundred cows, it's going to be about two hundred fifty grand right there. So we do need to be careful. But I, I really want to get a bunch of cows. I want to get a lot of cows. I want to get a lot of equipment like that. Ooh, can we make the turn? Yes. Um. Oh, you know what's interesting? I can make this turn coming the other way, but I can't do it this way. Because that's, oh, because there was, there was crop in here. So it was weighing the tractor down. That's why I made it through there. That is not good. Ooh, we're going to have to get ourselves another tipper. Over at the store now, it is time to start buying stuff for the cows. Not only the cows, but maybe stuff to make doing pigs a bit easier as well. Let's jump right here. Let's bump over to animals first and see what we need, what we can get. So we've got water at the other place. We don't need another water thing for them, but we do need a water for here. So what are we going to get? So I see stuff like this, IT runner stuff. Uh, see, this holds 8,000 liters. This holds 8,000 liters. I know that the little trailer here holds 7,300 I also know that we don't have water over the main farm, at least not that I've been able to find. If there is, let me know so I'm not making that mistake as well. So at least let's go ahead and buy what I know we're going to need. This right here. 23, 29. Do we get the big version? You know, it's a, that's a lot of money. That's almost twice, close to twice the amount for not twice the amount. If you know what I'm saying. 145, 120, 23,000, 29,000. Oh man, it just... Why? Why does it have to be so expensive? I don't know. It is what it is. How about we go with the... Uh, rabble, baby. Rabble. I think we'll be okay. Let's, uh... You know what? Let's take out a loan. Let's make this easier. Let's remove the ceiling. We'll take out a loan. Get what we need. Because we're going to make more money later on. So I ended up not getting as much as I thought I was going to. Mainly because, well... I don't think we can fit anything larger under under the little awning thing. So here's what we've got. We've got a big food mixer. We got the larger one. I took out a $500,000 loan. We'll pay back as much of that as we have to. And then we've got the front IBC tank and the Joskin Aqua Trans, the water trans right there. Figured, I was like, you know what? If we get both of those together, that gives us, what, 9,800 liters, something like that together. It's a pretty good amount. Plus, this food mixer right here will make feeding the cows a whole lot quicker and a whole lot simpler. At least that's a game plan. So that's what we've got. This guy right here and the other. We're going to go back and we're going to go make a ton of power food. I mean a ton of power food. We've got as much as we need right now. We're going to take a look at the hay versus silage. And we're going to determine what our TMR percentage is going to be. All right, we're back. We've got everything taken care of. The Ford, I was about to say the New Holland. The Ford has the water on it, and we have the food mixer. We could probably put the, the Massey on here, but uh, we got the JCB on it already. So let's take a look. What is our percentage of hay to silage? So we've got quite a bit of both. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a 50% of each. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Quite a bit of each. So what I'm going to go is we're going to go in here to hay, and we're going to fill this up to 20%. No, 40%. Yes. Fill this up to 40%. There we go. 41. That's okay. Silage. We're going to top this up to 80% total of the entire trailer. Just a little bit more. There we go. 81. And then we're going to find straw and just top it off. There we go. So now we have 20... Oh, start the... Start the truck here. Trailer. 
tractor. There we go, finally, finally set it right. The question is, this is supposed to hold TMR, but actually, does it? Oh, I may have made a mistake. I think I made a mistake, guys. Go in the garage. Uh-oh. Does it, If this doesn't hold TMR, that's no bueno. Um, <clears throat> no. No, it doesn't. No TMR. Doesn't hold it. I thought it did. I am mistaken. I was very mistaken. So it looks like we're going to go ahead and buy some cows. Yeah. Here we go. Like I said, I want to get... 100 cows. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that or not. We shall see. Said I wanted to get black cows. I think we are just going to lighten up the place a little bit. Let's go with black and white cows. Let's buy 100 cows. $250,000, $20,000 fee. Confirm. Let's double check, make sure we actually got 100 of them. There we go. So we have 200 pigs, 400 chickens, and 100 cows. Let's get this closed up. And let's grab this. We should be able to feed them right away. Let's pull through here. Here we go. You gonna get the uh, trigger? Do we, do we get the trigger anywhere? Am I at the wrong place completely? I hope not. Uh, are we not close enough? Are we too far away? Ah, there we go. I think we, we were just too, uh, too close. Okay, so be careful when you come through here if you have a food mixer. Just don't get too close to them. Now, this is not going to make a huge difference. We're going to have to make a lot of TMR. I mean, a lot. We're going to be sitting here for uh, a hot minute. Yup. <laughs> We're going to be sitting here for a hot minute trying to get TMR made. Oh, boy. They're going to they're gonna take a lot of it. We've swapped over to the Massey now. Miss this guy. I miss the Massey so much. So we're going to use the Massey since we're not flying through anywhere. There we go. And again, tip it out. This is only the third load. You guys can see we're not even in the yellow yet. We're still in the red. So this is going to take a long time. It's going to take a lot of food. I'm planning on giving them as much as we possibly can, at least to get through everything. We also need to give them water and straw. Water is going to be easy. Straw is going to be easy. We're just going to fill this up with straw and then bring that in here as well. Seeing that this is the only trailer that we can fit in here right now. Great thing is at least we can use this for all of their feed needs. Uh, if only we could just dump water in here, <laughs> dump that out too. That would be uh, even more beneficial. Come on, DJ. The turning on this is a little bit crisper, a little bit strikier than the JCB. So it's a little bit tougher. Again, I will show you guys how I make my TMR, especially when I have equal amounts of hay and silage. Hay, we're gonna do 40%. Silage will do 40% and straw will top that up or 20% if you guys are paying attention like that. Here we go. Now we have TMR. You're probably looking at that going, um, DJ, you've got TMR already. You didn't need to put straw in there. Well, straw is just a filler, especially since straw is much easier to come by than hay or silage. It is, my, wow, this is turning really good uh it is much easier to come by and not only that but uh we might have like i don't know 170 some thousand liters of it so yeah we're just gonna keep using that hay is coming down a little bit silage we got 160 now of course we do 169 thousand liters left hay we've got 205 liters left and straw we've got 170 thousand liters left are we in the yellow yet Yes, finally we're in the yellow. All right, let's keep making it. I'm gonna empty. If I have to use all the silage I have, we will. This is my 10th trip over here. I've made 10 trips trying to do this and we're still not full yet. You can see that 293,930 liters because this holds 29,393 liters. <laughs> I think I'm going to do one more, maybe one more load, because this will hold them over for 10 days. So we're going to do one more and then see exactly what happens. Grab here, straw up to 20%. Yeah, close enough. Hay, we'll put 40% of this as hay, so that's going to bring us to 60%. Again, right there. And then we'll top it off with silage. And there it is. You can see it changed straight from forage to TMR. 
I love that change. It's so cool. Tell you what, I'm really glad that we got the larger version of this because what I was going to do is I was just going to batch make it all and then bring it over in uh, in other tippers. But, well, our other tipper doesn't fit. And this is going to have to be it right here. So, that being said, let's see. We are going to get close here. We're going to get very close to the end. We could probably do one more, but I'm not going to do that. We're just going to keep it as is right about there as soon as this is done. But the great thing is, as soon as we do this, yep, about right there, come on, almost, you're close, you're close. Okay, so after 11 trips, there's our 323,323 liters. Now we're going to fill this thing up with straw. Now the great thing with straw is if we have too much, we can come back and unload it if we have to. Um, but it's just going to be a little bit easier. We're probably going to have to make two or three trips, but... After making 11, doing the other, what's two or three? So let's find straw, there it is. We'll just fill this thing up with straw. This is something a lot of people don't know that you can do, is you can use food mixers to deliver the straw. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys do it already, or you may say, well, I've got no reason to do that. I use this other thing and it works perfect for me. And that's great. I do it like this, but to be honest with you, I'm really only doing it because I can't get any uh, get our, bit, our larger tipper in here. Let's bring this in here. Let's bring it to the center. Load up straw. There we go. You can see the straw slowly starting to populate in the center, which is always really cool. I've always thought that was just kind of neat. Now, how much straw are they going to take? There's 12,000 there. I think we're going to be, let's see, four, four loads of straw, maybe something like that. Speaking of four loads of straw, we're going to have to get more straw. Uh oh. It's almost done, yeah, it's almost done. And we've barely populated any straw in the middle. Yep, this is gonna be a four load crop. So there's two places that I've been able to find water. One is on the right hand side of the map over by the letter F, field 49, 47, 45. There's a water source over there. There's also a water source up here by our pigs. So I wanted to come up here and check on these guys, make sure everything was good to go. We're going to come up here and get water from this source right here. There we go. There's water. Actually, I don't think we need to fill that up. There's that. And let's jump to the back. Actually, no. There we go. Okay, well, something's going on. I don't know what's going on, but we've got water in the front, water in the back. This is going to be what we use to give water to the cows. This is actually what we've been using to give water to our pigs as well. Matter of fact, I think we've got too much going on for water. I think we need to consolidate and uh, only have one water source for both because we're only going to be giving them water water. I would say once every 10 days, but at the rate that they are reproducing, I would say maybe once every, I don't know, five days, something like that in game. And it's not like we're running through five days. I mean, it's going to take us a week to a week and a half of let's play to get through five days all right well there's 95 percent something something's going on i don't know why it just stopped but there we go we're now full 9300 liters i was thinking we were gonna have 98 i was wrong we've got 9300 liters so the front must hold 2000 not too bad i'll take it but with all that being said that is going to be it for today let's go ahead and run this uh, cow over here <laughs> give them some water hopefully it'll be enough to at least tie them over for a little while i really don't want to have to go all the way back up there oh and we've got to do this i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please drop a like and right, please subscribe if you have any questions drop those down in the comment section below and if you got any ideas for this map let me know i look forward to hearing what you guys have to say that being said hope you have a great day we will see you later. Peace.